Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. September is National Suicide Prevention Month, and joining us now from New York, the warrior herself and my dear friend, Lynn Shaw. Lynn, it is so great to see you. Good morning, Jeremy. Hi, Kenya. Thank you so much. First of all, I have to thank you for always being at the forefront, for wanting to raise awareness and share information about these very important issues that all parents and grandparents and concerned you know, caregivers need to know about our kids. You know, Lynn, I appreciate you because we've been friends for years. And when you got on this mission, I didn't know a lot about it. And I think awareness is key because until I met you and you were filling me in, I didn't even know. So I think it's important. We got to get the word out. It simply starts with raising awareness. I know, Jeremy, Kenya, it sounds so simple. People do not understand. They're not being given the information. So if they're not being given the information, how can they know anything? For instance, in July, a new three-digit code was launched, 988, for suicide prevention and awareness. Now, that's like our 911. You can call that number just to talk to somebody. Uh, obviously, if you're in crisis or your child's in crisis, you can call that number just to get some information about local resources in your community. It is a nationwide number. So people need to step up and use these resources, know about them, but also implement them in your own life. Learn what's going on because we do have right now in 2022 a youth mental health crisis and a lot of it is fueled by the internet. So what can people do? I mean, the internet, I mean, we all live on the internet. Yes. I mean, what can we look for? And especially, I was looking at some of your statistics, the age of children, I feel like it's getting younger that are having to deal with suicidal thoughts and mental health issues. It seems crazy to me how young it is now. The ages are shockingly, and it all started pre-COVID, we were noticing and the studies were starting now during COVID and now out of COVID, I like to say, uh, a lot of studies. We have, for instance, 40% of children in the United States showing up in all emergency rooms are 11 and under who have tried to commit suicide or suicide ideation. Now let's think about this. Where are they learning about these things? Where are they hearing about these things? They're learning a lot on the internet. And that is why it is up to each and every one of us in our own homes and communities. Education, know what your kids are doing online. Understand, ask them questions. What games, what apps, who are you talking to, right? Because remember, Wherever the kids are and there's money to be made, so will be the predators. So we have to step up. I want to have this fall refresh. The kids are all back in school. Let's refresh ourselves. Let's refresh our communication with our kids. Let's refresh our knowledge about what's happening online. Let's refresh ourselves and just be warriors and take action. You know, Lynn, I, I have to admit, I got uh, a, new, a new phone and I got a new operating system. I was reading through, is there any good news about different technologies for apps and like Instagram that can maybe help prevent some of these things? Jeremy and Kenya, there is so much good news. Uh, for instance, Apple, every fall, they usually launch a new item, a new operating system. They launched a couple of weeks ago, the iOS 16. So that is their iPhone operating system. And the Warriors, along with 25 other organizations, has been after Apple since 2021. Well, actually before that, but we presented a letter end of 2021, worked with them through 2022 to change the way parents, caregivers can put safety features and filters on the iPhone and iPads because we know that 90% of kids ages nine to 17 own an iPhone or own an iPad. So what they did, and this is a great move, you have to refresh though to your iOS 16 because if you have an old system, this will not work. They put the family sharing plan up front and center. It hits you in the face when you, when you refresh to this operating system 16. And it reminds you that no longer do we have 31 steps to get to safety features and filters, much easier steps. It's in your face. They've provided also right in front of you, a family checklist. So it reminds you, instead of being hidden, you know, at the bottom of the list, it reminds you, let's have this family checklist of what to do with our kids if they're using an iPhone or an iPad. It's a very, very great big move. Yes, there's more work to be done, but this is something very substantial. And is it easy, Lynn? I'm, I'm just curious. I know a lot of people of a certain age, and I, I don't mean to say that disrespectfully, don't like technology, aren't good with it. Maybe do, like if a grandparent is watching their grandchild, they may not know how to get into that phone. Is there any way to find out how to do it so we can teach the grandparents easier ways uh, to get in there and, and put those uh, prevention items on the phone for the kids? Because I know technology is scary. 
No, but people can't be scared. You know what, Jeremy and Kenya? We don't know maybe as an analogy, maybe how a car runs. We know they run, right? Right. Like we don't we don't know how like that all happens, perhaps. Kind of think of that with technology. Okay. What you can do is always go to lynnswarriors.org because I have everything laid out for you. One of our greatness, great, greatest partners is protectyoungeyes.com. Our good friend, Chris McKenna, does everything about digital trends, tech updates. He has laid this out step-by-step step about the iOS 16. And as things change on a daily basis, he updates on a daily basis. So again, protectyoungeyes.com, wonderful free information that everybody needs to know about. Lynn, we so appreciate you and what you're doing and everything you're doing to help protect our children with human trafficking and suicide prevention uh, month. Thank you so much. What is your website? One more time, if somebody wants to find more information uh, about this and what they can do to help their children. Lynnswarriors.org. Very simple. Everything is Lynn's Warriors. And you two are tremendous warriors. Thank you so much for shedding light on these important issues. Lynn, we love you so much. Please give your husband a big hug for us. And we look forward sure to talking will. to you again. Love you both. Take good care. Talk to you soon. You too. Bye, 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 Lynn. Check her out, guys. You will not regret it.